Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Enshrouded on the Radio Man 03, and it's awesome to have you along. The Hollow Halls update just came out for Enshrouded. All kinds of new fantastic things added. We're going to jump into our world and see how things look. Uh, but there's new dungeons in each of the biomes. We've got all kinds of new things we can decorate with and plant and grow and, and weapons and shields and, and new enemies and... Uh, it, it's a huge, an abundance of things. And quality of life improvements, too, with storage. Home sweet home. Uh, looks like home is doing just fine. We are still on the side of this here hill. Nothing happened. Perfect. How's my inventory look? I got a few odds and ends in here. Uh, we're going to go... Ooh, you know what? Oh, that, what is that? That's common. We're going to salvage that guy right there. Ooh, this guy's interesting. The Thunderbolt Axe. Look at this guy. He's rare. That's a pretty cool weapon, but it's not legendary. So, and is it... Uh, this one-handed axe crackles with electrifying energy since it was charged by lightning during a rare desert storm. Shock and cutting, huh? That sounds kind of fun, actually. I think I might hold on to that. Uh, our shield of light is what we already have. Okay. That's what I have in my inventory from the last adventure we were on. So I've got to put a few things away. Oswald, hello. I'm wondering if that axe might not be better than what one of our swords. That's 47 damage, cutting piercing. That's 44. That's 47. That's better. This is 44 damage, but it's got the uh, recharge and all that good stuff on it. And this one, yeah, I'm going to put this in here for now, I guess. And I'll put that shield in there, too. Apparently, there's more shields coming. Yeah, level 23, level 23, block, block. Yeah, 90, 90 130, 130. Yeah, those are exactly the same shield. So I'm just going to delete the one. Just get rid of it. Don't need it. Hope everyone's doing great. I'm doing fantastic. We're going to go around and visit everybody because everybody's got stuff for us. There's going to be some new missions and stuff too. Now, we haven't. We had one journal quest left to do together. And I was going to do that on today's episode. But now we've got all this new stuff here. I thought maybe what I'll do is I will get some stuff put away. I'm going to go ahead and salvage that and salvage that. There we go. And then I got a little bit of water right over here. And doink. All right, beautiful. Everything is taken and put away. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Let's go ahead and do... Let's do an empty hand, okay? Uh, apparently, the wand now, they're able to dodge block the wand. So there's going to be... It's going to be a little more difficult to do some some of the fighting, too. Uh, okay, so let's see. Welcome back. So do you have anything new? I guess maybe... She does. Uh, flower soil. Look at this. Okay. She's got that marked on there. Medium flower pots. Look at that. That's cool. So I need an empty flower pot. Okay. We'll have to figure out where we make flower pots at. Uh, fireplace. I'm guessing I will figure it out. Square flower pots. Tiny flower pots. Small flower pots. And long flower pots. Oh my god. Look at those. You need flower, soil, metal scraps, charcoal, and the empty flower pots. Okay. Well, when I can plant see a beehive smoker, nothing new there. They added a bunch of stuff I was hoping for. The flower pots is really one thing I was definitely hoping for. Let's go out and check our... Um, Seed beds, because I know we can make uh, the, the, the colored trees now. I think it's the red one we could get going. And I believe I heard what was in the comments today was uh, the revel wood as well. The revel wood trees. Those hardwood trees. Uh, oh, look at this. We've got some wheat seedlings going on here. That's nice. Um, I think this looks different too. The wheat grains have got a, a grain color to them. They don't look like um, pale brains. I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if that makes any sense, but there it is. Let's take a look at our... Um, oh, recipes are up here now. This is very different looking. Plus one, plus ten. Let's go to recipes. Let's take a look at all of it. Beet seedlings, wheat seedlings, corn, aloe, saffron, azura, sugar, arrow, and nettle, sage, rooibos, 
broadleaf tree, Kindle waste flower seedling. Okay, so there we go. We can do the flower one now. We couldn't do that one before. The revelwood green leaf seedling. A seedling that will grow into a plant once sown in the right soil. Uh -huh. The revelwood red leaf seedling. Nomad Highlands broad tree seedling. Oh, that's cool. Nomad Highlands slender tree seedling. Oh, that is great. And there's the yucca. Just need some twigs, huh? All right, let's see. Do we have any twigs anywhere? I probably don't have any twigs anyways. I need to get some of this stuff put away too, it looks like. I've got a lot of stuff laying around here. Uh, there's that Kindle Waste, the desert flower. Do we have what we needed in here for that? Let's see. Um... Let's see, come on, come on, come on, come on. You are a flower seedling, there it is. And that is making. So great, we could plant those now in our farms. Those are gonna be great. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and plant this wheat and probably I should, yeah, I should pick all of this stuff, really. Yikes. Oh. I have a yucca palm seedling in my inventory. I don't know how that got there. But let's grow it. Let's uh, let's go put it down in the garden below. Uh, yeah, I don't know how I got this. I must have made one without knowing it, right? When I got first got on or something? I don't know. Uh, we're down here. There's got to be a place perfect for this little guy right here. He's not so little either. It's it's a big plant as we've seen. So I'm wondering if I take out this saffron here, I, it looks like he'll go right there maybe. Let's see. If he does, that'd be great because I only need the one. We can represent it with the one. Then we need a couple of the desert flowers down here too. Looks like he's going to stay. Okay, that's awesome. Okay, so there's enough room for him right there. That's nice. That is really nice. Okay, so I did a whole bunch of farming stuff. Um, we've got a few things planted now. We'll get to these 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 folks' question marks in just a second. We got to work check their workstations too. All right, so we've got the wheat planted. It's it's not fantastic. It's a little sloppy. I will be the first one to admit that. Does she have any other recipes available to us? Uh, doesn't look like it, huh? I think we I think we've figured everything out. Okay, so yeah, she's she's pretty much done. She's got a yellow marker next to her name still, though. Uh, do we have recipes? We got four recipes in here. Bone, bone meal. Okay, nothing new there. Shut that. I was cooking wolf meat up here. Yep, yeah, it's still working on that. I think we're done up here. Let's go down and see Balthazar, because I believe he's got something for us. I'm not going to make it, though. There we go. So one way or another, I made it. Hello, Balthazar. How can I help? Descend into the hollow halls. Ugh. Let's check his craft menu first. What has he got in here that's new? Uh, what is this? Warm white glowing substance. This material glows in a warm white light. It's an alchemical miracle. Well, what do you do with it? I don't know, but I'm going to go ahead and craft 20 of them. There we go. Now, I believe workstations are supposed to reach th into the chest now as well, which is really great. Spiritual cane. Yeah, I'm going to make... Make 20 of those and see what happens there. Clutter. Uh, blue globe. A decorative object to design and beautify your home. Well, let's do one of those. Anything new in the books? Uh, book category. Looks like we do have something new in the books here. What else have we got? Just all kinds of books. Okay. All kinds of different kinds of books. And yeah, we've got all that stuff right there. So he's got a new mission for us, though, as well. 
uh, escape. There we go. Do let me know if you need anything else. We will come right back to you in just a second. I want to see this globe. I want to go put this downstairs in our room. Now, did this give us anything? Just a decorative object. Okay, decorative object is just fine with me. It doesn't have to give me points or anything else. It just has to be cool looking. Okay. Um, I'm thinking that might look better in the room because it's small. You know? Oh, we could put it right up here too. Does it have anything on it? Looks like it's got a circle right there. It's like the Death Star. You see that little circle right there in the middle? That's the Death Star. I'll put it right there. Right there in the hallway. Coming in. Yeah, that's cool. All right, sweet. All right, so we did that. Um, okay, so let's go see what kind of new information he's got in terms of missions. Let's take a look at our map, too. What happened on our map? Anything change here that we are going to take note of? I'm sure he's going to send us off to do something, and that is going to alter our map. At the moment, it doesn't look any different. There's still a few things for us to do out here. Uh, we still have the one main mission to do, which is, that's the Haunted Sun Temple. We were there yesterday. Uh, I'll, we can pull it up and, and, and see it. We've got this guy right here. The Dacronian Vulture took him. We've got that one to, to finish up. But let's see what we get uh, when we talk to Balthazar. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, Flameborn, dear friend, the earth shakes with vitriol. Descend to snuff out that eternal rage. Whatever it is, I can enchant it. Well, let's see what you have for crafting. I think we just did that, though, right? Yeah, we did. Okay, so we looked at that, and we're going to go descend into the hollow halls. By now, you've encountered the hollow, skeletal husks animated by ire and the curse of the flame. Legends say they were banished into grand underground halls of unknown origin. I discovered one such hall during my studies, but I could not enter. Maybe you can. Best assemble a team if you have one to descend. New location charted. A marker added. Let the fire in your veins guide you. Well, we're over here now. Explore the hollow halls. Look at that. And it is going to put us down into the shroud as well. Mm-hmm. Alright, let's uh let's go see what else we have over here. Adeline had something that she wanted to talk about us. We have to see if she's got anything new in her inventory here. Talk. What? Okay. Uh, let's see what you got for crafting, lady. Anything new here? Uh, I don't see nothing new. Okay. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Sorry. Um, the spinning wheel. <laughs> Flameborn, you work so tirelessly every day, weaving minutes to hours and hours to days. Use a spinning wheel to be more effective when crafting linen and string. Uh huh. The carpenter knows how to make one. Spinning wheel. We have a spinning wheel and string. Okay. Using the spinning wheel. It bleeds. We can count. Right. Let's go see. It, it, I thought we already had this. This is the spinning wheel, is it not? Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah. See, string. Plant fiber. Okay, we just need some plant fiber to throw in there. I'm sure it's all we got to do for her. Let's go grab some, and we'll take a look at it and see, though. But I'm pretty sure that's what we're going to have to do. If anything else, I'm going to put... I've got a lot of string, though, to be quite frank with you. We're doing pretty good when it comes to the string. But, uh, you know, maybe there's something coming along here that we don't know about that is going to require more string, right? So we'll take 200 of those and give it a whirl. Oh, and speaking of a world, let's take this goo that we made with uh, Balthazar here, and let's throw that in this bucket right here. So just in case we need it, we've got it. And there's a, we'll throw a piece of saffron in there too. Sometimes he requires that, right? I think so. Uh, we're still looking to figure out how we can make flower pots. Uh, Luke the carpenter's got some new stuff down here. He does. Uh, let's go up and see the archer real quick. So, she says, so... Oh, I bet I've got to go see the carpenter, huh? Because, let's see. Take what you need. Yeah, I think I better go talk to the carpenter first. I bet he's part... He is part of this, right? She told me to go see him. Let's go do that. 
Let's make something grand. Okay, okay. Let's... Yee -hoo. Yee -hoo. Miscellaneous. Oh, look what we got here. The Iron Grate. A decorative object to design and beautify your home. That's nice. Windows. Round windows have been brought to the game along with round doors, you guys. I think we might have to go for some kind of an elvish type land up on top of that hill. That place we're talking about building in in the north. It, it's Look at these beautiful things we've got here. Clutter? Oh, clutter. Who doesn't love it? Medium flask? A small flask? Oh, those are really wonderful things, you guys. Those are really wonderful things. Beds, tables. Yeah, all these great things. All these. Oh, we could sit down now, too. We can. We could sit down. Um, Does he have that spinning wheel? Or do I make that with the spinning wheel? Okay, I already have one. So I don't think I have to make it. I'm going to go ahead and just put this in there. But let's go ahead and see about his mysterious hollow halls, too. <laughs> so the ghastly catacombs that house the hollow are real. My Aunt Ellen used to tell stories. But, well, you know her. Always a tale teller, that one. If old Balthazar has seen them himself, then it is true. Oh, think of the materials, the architecture, the treasures. I wish my little legs could take me there, too. I would let you come with me, dude. One block at a time. You can take that saw thing you got in your hand right there too work out just great i'm gonna go ahead and throw this in here uh, oops, going the wrong staircase i'm gonna go throw these in there and make string i'm guessing that's what she wants us to do i guess we could check our journal right using the spinning wheel so it's active there we go let's just do that we'll make things simple uh it says to place the spinning wheel but let's go ahead and throw that in there and we'll browse recipes and we'll hit string and select. I may have to pick it up and set it down. It says to place the spinning wheel. I'm wondering if it's going to just say, oh, you've already done that and now look what you've made. I'm kind of funny that it's making us go back and do this. Uh, it looks to me like I've got to uh, actually place the dang thing. All right, let's pick it up. And then we'll put it down. Okay, there we go. Now it worked. All right, beautiful. Okay, we're going to put those back in there, and we will just go ahead and browse the recipes. And let's just go ahead and do that. We'll let this thing work and do that stuff right there. All right, beautiful. So, so what? Are we done here? Uh, really? That's it, huh? We'll meet again. That's it. Nothing else for her. That was it. Just to just to make the string. That's interesting because I can make string in my inventory. Could we not make string in our inventory anymore? Or maybe it's a little cheaper for us to do that, right? String takes three three fiber to make a string, and what does this take? It's probably is it one for one or something like that? I didn't even look. Twofer. Okay, twofer. Oh, I see. If I click on this, it lets me just pull? Like that, huh? I... This this dragging in is kind of... Uh, I kind of want to put the picture over the top of that, and it doesn't work that way. It's, it's, the, it's literally the pointer, huh? Alright, so I, I, I think I see how that works then. Yeah. You just decide up here, okay, what you want. Gotcha. That's how you use those, ch how you pull from the chess. Okay. Well, it's it's better because then I don't have to run off to the chess and say, okay, what was I trying to do? And then forgetting exactly what it is I'm trying to do now. <laughs> Anything is helpful. Uh, what was next on the agenda? I mean, we've got that new place to, we can go take a look at and see. Um, right on over here. Explore the hollow halls. I feel like what I should do... Is there anything else? Well, we need to figure out where the heck I make the, the flower pots. How do I make flower pots? Aha! 
Clay. Clay and wood logs. Okay, so this is where you make the flower pots. It makes sense to be in the kiln. Okay, so I need some clay. We've definitely got to make... Do I have any clay? Oh, here we go. Um, let me go ahead and browse the recipe. And I'm going to... I want to make a little bit of everything here, really. It's one per, right? One piece of clay per. This is fantastic. No armor stands. Not yet, but I gotta think those are definitely coming down the road. There's too many awesome things to look at that they wouldn't have that. Okay, so that gave me two. That's cool, I'll take four. So, really, I only need the one. So, if I go like... Okay, it's already doing it. But use that piece of clay that was in here. That works pretty fast, I'd say. 30 seconds. I'm going to make a little bit of each, and then we're going to try them out. And then, I'll, well, we'll try some of them out, and then I'm going to put some in storage. Let's grab just a little bit of water and we'll get those going. We'll make a few flower pots too and place them so we can see what they look like. Try to get one of each set out so they look nice. We've got that table in the great hall we can put them on. Uh, okay, so you were doing that. What are, what are you whooping, What are you making in here? You are making okay these seedlings here. These Kindle Waste Flower Seedlings. We've got 15 of them so far. All right, that'll keep going. We'll go over here. I am going to drop in that water. Probably didn't have to go get more water. I'm going to drop my sticks in here. And let's do... Riverwood Greenleaf Seedling. That's going to give me five. Let's do that right there. Okay, you're done. I'm going to go ahead and do browse recipe. Let's go ahead and do one over here too. That way they're going to be done hopefully in relatively same time. Uh, twigs. Uh, select and one. Okay, we'll do that. I got some tomato seedlings to put away. Sage leaves, aloe. Okay, that stuff's all good to go there. And then there was one other Revelwood tree, correct? Browse recipe. There's the big one. Revelwood. Oh, there's the there's two nomad trees. Oh. I hope one of these is the big one. We'll have to see. Okay, I put enough stuff in there to make one, huh? Awesome. That's good news. Okay, sweet. Uh, looks like this is going to take just a tick to do a few minutes, huh? And it's going to take a tick for them to grow as well. But we'll have a little bit of each to take a look at and see. Okay, so while those are cooking up, I don't know if we'll get those in the... Well, I would like to get them in the ground today just to see what they look like. What I definitely need to do is get these flower pots going. Let's go see Emily. Oh. Hi, something on your mind? I... I well... Beware of the hollow. My dear, the alchemist tasked you to enter the hollow halls. Beware of the hollow inside. These thieves conspired to claim part of the flame and were cursed by the ancients as punishment to never feel the warmth of another. I almost pity them. Yikes. Okay, so... Here's our medium flower pots. We've got this one. This one. Oh, these hang on the wall. Really? Oh. Is that so? Well, that hangs on the wall, too. Um, empty flower pots. Okay, so I'm going to... I need to make more. I'm going to make that one right there. Okay. Square flower pot. Do we have a hanger on this one, too? 
Oh, that's beautiful. Look at the little purple flowers in there. Oh, and the fern. Okay, we're going to do that. Tiny flower pot. We got some bread. We got some chamomile. And we've got some of the... Okay, uh, let's do the... Let's do that. Small flower pots. How cute. Um... A fern and a grass pot. Okay, that's the grass. Let's not do that again. Let's do this one. And then the long flower pot. Oh, there's no grass option there. I was going to say, let's do some grass. We didn't do any yellows, did we? We got What do we got here? Yellow wall flower pot. A wall flower pot. Okay, let's do that one. Oh, those are awesome. Emily, you just became so vital to me here. I tell you. Emily's place. Okay, so let's try these right up here, for God's sakes. R I mean, why the heck not, right? Boink. It's her place. These are her flower pots. We could spread these all over the place with, uh, you know, great intentions. I feel like the sun is disappearing on me here. Okay, here we go. Right here, right here. Oh, it's too high. It's too high. There we go. Let's put that a little bit lower so the flowers... Oh my gosh, would you guys look at that? It's too big. Oh my god! Emily, do you see what you have here? She's like, huh? Oh my god, that looks amazing! Ha! I love it to death. I absolutely love it to death. That is one of the best things ever. We just got so many new decorations, it's just sick. Right on the stool. Right on the dang stool. Little flower thing as we come up the stairs. We'll put them all over the place. All over the dang place. Love it. So much. Yeah, this is just unbelievable, you guys. Oh yeah, there we go. That's nice. That's nice right there. Yeah, I want the flowers up here so I can see them all the time. Haha! <laughs> that is so cool! Oh man, you get so much fun with that! That is really so, that is just so, so awesome. That is so awesome. Um, yeah. That's tough to beat. There's two games I love, Valheim and this, that both give you just so much freedom when it comes to that. I just, that part of it is so much fun to me. It is so easy to come in here and you guys will agree, just chill out and just get lost in that little fine tuning of the game and playing it is so much fun oh man look at that that is just gorgeous oh my god yeah we got to do some kind of a yeah we got to do some kind of a elvish meets dwarven kingdom or something out there we've got to uh, let's see do we have our, our seedlings that's the kindle waste flowers uh, and it's still working on some more of those so we'll take those with us anyways because we, we want to plant one What do you mean not enough free space? That should be okay right there, right? It should be okay. I'm gonna put another one right here on this side of the road. I think maybe one over here. Well, let's put one right over here but by this berry bush. There we go, there we go, right there. And then maybe one more. So I don't wanna block the view of the mountain over here. We don't wanna block it too much, right? 
We'll do another one of those right there. They, oh, they're just so amazing looking. Do I have any room to have one up here in on the property? They're not super huge. I'm just wondering. Okay, yeah, the, look at this. Yeah, the yucca is starting to really settle in. Oh, if I could get you to go there and stay there, will you please grow? Because you'll be above everything else, and the canopy will be above all of this, and it would be nice and shaded right here on this side. It would be so awesome. It's going to stay there, it looks like. Ha! Love it. Okay, we've got a little bit of a desert flower action going on here. Uh, I'm going to turn X on just so I can see where I've got space to plant. It says I can do that there, so I'm going to do it, and I'm going to put one right there too. And do we have any room back here for at least one of these would be nice. Um, God, that's that's might not work. It's staying. Okay, that's perfect. If it's gonna, um, that's pushing it right there. But we'll see if that works. Let's take a look at our journal again. We got three quests: explore the hollow halls, the pillars of creation. The draconian vulture took him. Let's go do this guy right now. He's right up there. Let's go do it. It's a quick, it's a quickie. Not even gonna empty my inventory. Just gonna take it with us. We're gonna go kill a couple of them buzzards. I'm heading to, to the east, east, southeast. So we need to get back up on top of that mountain right there. So that's what we're gonna do. Yeah, I need to get up on top of that mountain. It's somewhere up there. Thanks for being here. If you're enjoying the episode, make sure you hit that like button for me. It really does help. Hopes, hopefully it propels us forward as a group. Woohoo! Nice. Okay, I'm going up. Again, we're going to have to do the, the typical... Oh boy, I probably should get myself set up here. Yeah, I should probably do that. Huh, I think we made it almost to the top. It was a little bit of digging, but we made it up here. Interesting rock formations everywhere. We've got to be getting close. So the birds swooped down that letter we read, and they grabbed him. One of these buzzards, or a couple of these buzzards, grabbed that poor guy and dragged him up here. I think he's probably got something with him that we want, right? Maybe? Oh, there they are, right there. Look at this. I guess I didn't need that. Oh, and multi-shot arrows. It no longer takes multiple arrows from you when it multi-shoots. You don't have to worry about it running through your arrows like crazy. I had gotten kind of used to it. It wasn't bothering me. I just made sure I checked my arrows when I go out. But now, it's not taking, like, that was two arrows right there. It didn't take two of my arrows. It's magic, right? It's supposed to be magic. So there it is. Uh, got a dead VUCA guy up here. Uh, loot. What do I do? Do I, do I, should I... I guess I should check them all. There's nothing really there. Dead VUCA. Animal fur. Some bones. I guess it's telling me to loot them all, huh? Oh. Oh, here it is. Draconian bow. Ranged weapon level 21. 22 power. It's uncommon. Equipable. Well... Okay, I'll take it. 
I don't know that we're going to use it for anything, though. We'll probably just scrap it. The Draconian Vulture took him. That's been accomplished. Um, what, what, what did it say now? That's done. Okay, completed. So the Pillars of the Creation is the one that we had not done yet. That's the last mission we had to do in our kind of our, our first go at this. So Pillars of Creation is something we're going to do in uh, either in tomorrow's stream or in tomorrow's episode. But we will get that taken care of and then we'll move on to the new the Hollow Halls. I know there's probably folks heading there right now. Go check them out. We looted that though. Find the Hollow Halls. It's 4,000 some away that way. What's going to be the best way to get there? I'm going to guess probably using our... Well, let's see. Um, yeah, one of our... There's the Cinder Vault. Wow, it's really close to where the Cinder Vault is, huh? It's right over here. It's very close to home. We could actually f glide there quite easily. Quite easily. Now that I look at that. But we will have to do that in another episode. I'm going to hang out. There's our yucca plant coming up. That looks really sweet. This is going to be our maple here. Uh, and we've got the other trees planted out here. So I'm going to hang out and let these grow up a little bit so we can look at them and see what they're like. I'm curious to see just what they look like. So uh, give me a second. I'll be back when they've popped up and we'll take a look at all these new wonderful trees that they've added to the game. So I think I see it over there. Right over there. Maybe. Maybe not. It's over there though. I'm over here getting flower soil. I know, exciting, right? Getting some flower soil. There's definitely something over there though. Mm-hmm. Oop, I'm going too far. Ouch. Dang it. Ugh. I hate it when it doesn't pop open right away like that again. Alright, I'm going to take a band-aid. Alright, so yeah, I'm getting some flower soil just so we can plant a few more of the things that we've uh, discovered. Oh, I don't have my uh, pick on me. There we go. I planted the last of the trees, so we have all the trees represented there that we can grow. Well, the, you know, you know what I mean. The new ones, the Revelwood trees, which is really good news because in our new location that we wanted to build in, you know, we have to uh, make sure we have those trees. So now I can chop trees down and, and I can replace trees, put trees where trees are going to, you know, work for us. So I don't have to try to work around them. I mean, I'll try as much as I can, of course, but at the same time, uh, we can, we can, you know, gussy the place up after we're done with a construction project, which is really cool. And I'm thinking, yes, kind of an elvish type thing would be a good, good way to go. Something dwarvish elvish, you know, solid and sturdy. Hmm, I don't remember this being a pig's den before, do you? My clay spot? <laughs> they put pigs here. <laughs> Somebody did. Somebody put swine here. Uh-huh. Huh. They've added pigs to my clay mound. My clay mound. Oh, and the rock is much smaller too. Hmm, this has changed. This is different. This is different right here. Mm-hmm. This little hillside has definitely changed. I forgot to get my, my I forgot to fix my pick when I logged in, got in here into this area. Hmm, that's interesting. So there's been a few terrain changes, which I guess if you had something you'd like cut that down and built your base there, you might have a bit of a change there. Those guys sound a little bit different too. They're a little more, uh, a little louder than they used to be. I wonder if my copper is here still. I see the flax. There's a plant over there. Uh, that's right, there's a flame over here too. A 
we'll grab that. And then, yeah, there's pigs here now. That is really interesting. And this has probably got a lot less clay in it, too. At least it looks like it does. I'm going to start up here and kind of work my way around and see what it, see what it gives. Yeah, that's... Yeah, that's not, uh... That's not great. My clay spot might be missing. Okay, I think with what I've picked up here... I can make a z gazillion flower pots with... Gazillion? I don't know, it's a lot, but I think I can do it. Okay, now I'm kind of curious to see... Oops, if my copper is still over here. Uh, it appears to be. Oh, there's another den over here too. Another pig den. This isn't where I've been getting my copper. I've been getting it a little bit further. There's definitely a pig here. It was right next to the shroud. Did they push the shroud back from here a little bit? They did. Oh, I heard you coming, piggy. Swine. Uh, yeah, they pushed the shroud back a little bit from here. Let's see, where is my beacon? This is different here. The beacon's right over there, so yeah, you used to be able to walk right through here. There's still copper there. There was a copper vein right here that I was digging up. And, oh, pig, pig. Oh, watch it, don't knock me off that cliff. Knock myself off the cliff. Yeah, that copper that copper vein that was right here, I would dig in right here, uh, is gone. Hmm. Let's see what this does. Yeah, the shroud was like right here too. The shroud was like right here. And now it's where is it? Now it's way over here. Yeah, that's different. It was up here, further. It seems like it, anyways. I, I could be wrong, but I'm, I'm pretty certain, because this, this is the area I've been coming to since we started our world and started playing. So I feel like um, I'm pretty on with that. At, at least with this general area. That's okay. If this uh, gives me a fair amount, I'm good with it. No big deal. A couple of pigs is nothing to get through to do this, right? So far, it's producing plenty of copper. Let's try the dynamic reverb, see if it sounds any better. I don't know if they did any work on this or not. What do you think? It gives you the feeling of being underground, for sure. The thing is, is, does it sound like that in our base as we're running around? That's the question. We're going to go back there in just a second here. Yeah, let's go back. I'm curious to see how that sounds while we're inside the base, since we are inside a mountain. I'm going to guess it sounds like that. Out here, we're fine. Oh, look at the yucca. Oh, that's beautiful. Perfect. How about you guys? You guys doing anything out here? Ooh. Not as of yet. Everybody's still tiny. Little bitty trees. It may not happen today. I don't know. I'm getting kind of close to the end of my record time here. Kind of close. Kind of close. Balthazar, I don't think I have anything for you. Actually, we, uh, we've we come up too far. Uh, do we want to smelt the copper? I think we probably do. Browse recipes, uh, copper bars, and select. It's going to do five. Right? Well, there we go. It's going to do that right there. 
So that's per well, I probably should drop some more coal. Now, if I go back in here, oh, here we go. That's what I need to do. I need to go like this. There we go. There we go. Perfect. Awesome. Just like that. That is pretty handy. God, that is. I don't know. You know, you can see both ways, right? The the. It's nice because you can craft with benches and most of the folks here through the use of the magic chest, but you couldn't do it with some of these things. You actually had to carry the recipe stuff around and go get it and, you know, put it in. So, you know, there's that, that bit of immersion is, is kind of gone right there. If you've got it in a magic chest, you don't have to go get it by hand. But that's not so bad. That's not so bad. They, they've got a game that moves along really nice, I think. Moves along real nice. Uh, I think think our wheat is ready we've got a bunch of stuff I think to put away don't we in here yeah we've got some food stuff in here oh look what I found the warm white luminescent block oh my gosh what is that one oh, I need my hammer there's so many cool things that came it looks like a light block doesn't it it, it would suggest that that's what that is. I've got a bunch of flower pots, uh, and, and now I need I need my hammer. I've got to get my hammer, folks. We gotta see what this block is. It's got to be a new light one, right? Since we made that stuff, uh, B. I'm gonna go ahead and well, we're fine. I've got still a bunch of junk in my inventory. Not junk, amazing things. Do I have my hammer still? I do. Oh, I thought I did not think I had my hammer, but there it is. Okay, well, that's okay, because we're here, and that means I can put uh, a few of these things away. Oh, oh, we're underground, and I've got that uh, that sound effect still on. Let's see what happens here. Hmm. So far, it's quite faint in the background. It's not obnoxious. Hmm. I don't know about that, you guys. It still does it in here, too. I mean, we are inside the mountain. Is it really any time I'm indoors? Okay, well, let's, you know, we tried. It's okay. Um, what am I looking for? We've got that new block. Indeed. That's a beautiful looking block, too. Look at that. Look at that guy. Okay, I was putting a couple of things away real quick, just so they're out of my inventory. There we go. Sweet. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at that block. Where's going to be a good place to do this? It's going to be nighttime here pretty quick. Oh my gosh. Is this a light block? Let's see. It is. It is a white luminescent block. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Uh, let's go down to the wall. Holy moly. There's some light, huh? Look at that. That is a block of a block. Whew. Oh my god, this is great. I mean, holy cow, now it's not just blue, right? Oh, is there going to be a fiery one too, maybe? Huh? You, there, there is a new, another new block. I know there's a fiery block, but this block is amazing. That is a great little light block. You can have some fun with that one right there, right? Picture all this not blue and it's just white. Or mix, mix and match it together. What does it do when you do that? I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know about that one. Anyways, that's pretty cool. That is a nice new block. Uh, 
uh, yeah, I don't have that anymore. There we go. Okay, so that is it for that. Um, back to B. I'm going to take my hammer back off my hot bar. And I was working on getting a few more of these flower pots taken care of, is what I was doing. Look at that. Hmm? Mm hmm? Yep, just like that. If they could even some flower pots along here, it might look kind of nice. Flower pot crazy right now is what I am. You can have so much fun with these guys. That one probably is not good right there. You know, I don't think I like that one there. But we've got all these really just amazing options now. I think I could put something there. But yeah, it's just so... You know, I got these tiny little flower pots here too. Uh, B, is that actually... That's got nothing in it. This doesn't seem like it does. Yeah, it does. It does. It has it has flower in it. Hmm. Or not. It's just empty, huh? So I can have empty ones too, so she could have empty ones on her shelves. That is pretty cool, huh? This stuff would be more appropriate outside, I realize that, but kind of nice. I didn't notice if they had potted ferns, because a potted fern hanging on the wall right here would look really cool. The, the, the little Boston ferns, those would look really great. We've got these yellow ones here, too. I should have used these, but I guess I didn't. I, I thought I did, but I didn't. That's okay. The yellow flower, I think, pops the most in these, uh, these containers. I think they really do. You know? A lot of color in there. Yeah, you can mix and match these guys and just have a, a ball with these guys. They are just really cool. Unbelievable. Such great stuff to play with, man. You have so much fun with this stuff. They're not going to stay here. I just put them up because it's nighttime and I've got to go because I've run out of time. But look at that. There's just these beautiful potted plants, huh? They look fantastic. And the trees have not grown up yet, but we will... They'll grow up, and we'll see them when we see them. Well, let's run out here real fast. One more look. One more look. If they're not grown, then we know it's going to take a tick longer. The yucca is up, but the other trees, yeah, they've not done anything at all. Yeah, they're still, they're still kind of waiting. So thank you so much for being here. Have an awesome, a fantastic, and a superb day. And I look forward to talking to you again next time. The maple inside the garden is growing. Hmm. Maybe these don't grow here unless I've got them in farm soil. Well, I hadn't thought about that. Hmm. Maybe these just don't grow on regular grass. Maybe you have to have them on farm soil because I noticed this one here is growing. That's interesting. Hmm.